Hey what's up creators and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. In this video, we're going to be introducing you to the player blueprint inside of Unreal Engine. This is possibly one of the most important blueprint classes when it comes to building the gameplay and the foundation of our character. So this player blueprint class is essentially a blueprint which contains all of the different components for your character. That is going to be things like the information, like the different state the player is in, the uh, camera or the character model that you've got. Absolutely all of that is there, along with even inputs such as what to do when a button is pressed. And ultimately, that's going to build all of your gameplay mechanics. So it's two pieces. One bit is just lots of components which make the character. And then secondly, all of the blueprints which is going to drive it as well. It's going to be a very exciting session and with that being said let's jump straight into Unreal Engine. Inside of Unreal Engine we know we can jump in and we can press play and we can have a character that can move around. This character is being fully controlled by the player blueprint that is where all of the code is going to live. In the case of this template that we've got we can access this by going down to our content drawer then if we go to third person and blueprints, you can see inside of here, we have got a blueprint class called BP underscore third person character. Now, a blueprint class is essentially just a collection of visual scripting code. That is it. But with this, if we go ahead and double click on this, we can look at it a little bit more. So this blueprint code looks a little bit like this. But what we also have with our blueprint code, especially in the case of a character blueprint, is we also have a viewport and we have physical components too. So 3D components. So we have a character, an arrow letting us know which direction it should be facing, the camera that the player is going to see through, the collision and more. So essentially what's going on in this player blueprint is we are taking these components, such as the character and the animations and the collision, and then blending that with visual scripting code to make all of this come together. So with all of that being said, that is a very simple view of the player blueprint. Let's show you around a little bit. So first things first, in the top left hand corner, we have the components panel. This is going to show you all of the different components that are going to make up your player blueprint. So inside of here, we've got the capsule collision which is going to be the collision for the player you know to make sure it can't walk through walls or fall through the floor that kind of stuff and when I select that we can see all of that component settings in the details panel on the right we've got the arrow which is simply just there for us to know which direction the player should be facing we've got the mesh which is the character's um, 3d model and with this, it's not just a regular static mesh. What I mean by that is it has bones and it can be driven by animations. And there's going to be a little something called an animation blueprint behind this, which is going to be driving what animations it should play and when. That's something for a totally different video, but just know the mesh, our character mesh is skeletal, which just means it has bones and animations. We've also got the camera boom, which is going to dictate how far away the attached object, in this case, the camera, is going to be. And again, details inside of here, and we can do things inside of this, such as changing the offset or the arm length to make the camera be closer or further away. Then you've got the camera itself. This is what the player is actually seeing out of. And again, settings for all of this inside of here. So we know we've got the components panel. We know we've got the viewport, which is going to give us our 3D view of this blueprint and the details. But you're also going to want to be able to access the blueprints for this as well, which is going to be all of the code that does this. So for example, if I go over to my event graph and everyone's gonna have one of these, if you don't, go to window in the top left-hand corner and then inside of here, make sure that you go ahead and reset that interface and just open up that default editor interface and it's going to load this up. But inside of this event graph now with this clicked, I can see that when I'm pressing things like my thumb stick, that's going to make me aim. Um, when I use the, uh, the move, that's going to make me move. And there's all of this code in here. 
And don't worry if you don't understand this code right now because we're gonna be writing some for ourselves. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. Hopefully that gives you a really solid foundation in terms of just knowing what the player blueprint is. Like I said at the beginning, this is essentially just a blueprint with all of the components for the character, such as the model, the camera, and more. In the next video, we're going to be showing you how we can add components to this and start building our own mechanics. More importantly, just adding things like a flashlight to this. Move on to the next video to continue your Unreal Engine learning journey. But for now, as always, stay awesome, keep creating.